today we're going to be taking a look at the FreeScan Combo Plus, the latest iteration of the FreeScan Combo. As you can see, it looks very similar to the FreeScan Combo. The biggest difference that you'll notice on the outside of the FreeScan Combo Plus is that here on top, it's written FreeScan Combo Plus. Other than that, you still have the same friendly handheld ergonomic design, allowing you to rapidly move about whatever objects you have you scanning. The biggest difference between the FreeScan Combo Plus and its predecessor, the FreeScan Combo, is that it offers 50 crossed blue laser lines as opposed to the 26 crossed blue laser lines that we had with the FreeScan Combo. The FreeScan Combo Plus is a metrology grade scanner offering up to 20 microns of accuracy. And again, like its predecessor, the FreeScan Combo, FreeScan Combo Plus, only weighs 620 grams, making it comfortable for both long and short scanning sessions. FreeScan Combo Plus boasts two light sources. It offers four scanning modes, so we have 50 crossed blue laser lines, in addition to seven parallel laser lines for fine detail scanning, and one single line for obtaining deep hole data. And on top of that, we have the infrared cell scanning mode, for acquiring data rapidly without the need to use markers. The FreeScan Combo Plus can scan at a speed of 3,600,000 thousand points per second. In laser mode, its max field of view is 520 millimeters by 510 millimeters. As is the case for other handheld scanners by Shining 3D, you'll need a computer with Windows in addition to an NVIDIA graphics card. Either GTX or RTX will suffice. But you don't need the latest, most high-end. A gaming computer that's a couple years old will do just fine. Do keep in mind though that the more RAM you have in your computer, the more you'll be able to do at once. And the faster your processors, the faster everything will be processed. So without further ado, let's jump into scanning. First thing I gotta do though is connect the scanner. Once you plug it in, it starts purring. We've already scanned this object, but figured we could give it a go again with the FreeScan Combo Plus. There are some leftover tracking markers on this part here, and I'm not gonna bother taking them off. I'm mostly gonna be relying on the tracking markers from the felt cloth here though. And because I'll be scanning in laser mode, the tracking markers are necessary. Put my device online. We'll select laser mode and immediately upon launching the software I'm going to be asked if I want to scan markers to create a global marker file. I could do that. I'm not going to do that. So I'll just hop over to scan mesh. I'll go ahead and do automatic brightness and I'll leave the other parameters where they're at. We will start. Now because I selected auto exposure, it's going to do auto exposure for a minute there. I left my brightness about where it was at. And with the free scan series, once you hit the scan button, you're immediately scanning. So it's not like with some of the other scanners where it does a preview and then you have to hit the, the scan button again uh, in order to start scanning. Here, you just immediately start scanning. And the moment that it took me to say what I just said, we've basically picked up all the top part of this part here. Because I'm going to be creating another project group, I want to make sure that I have enough of the underside so that I've got stuff that it can align with. All right, that should be sufficient. Okay, so we can see that we pretty much got everything. What I'll do here is create a cutting plane. I will use markers. That looks good. I'll raise that up just a tad, something like that. We'll go apply and we're done. We do have a little floating goober that I'll quickly get rid of. And now we'll just flip this over. We may have to actually do three project groups. So this would be the second project group and then the third project group would be something with it like that, just so that it can better align what's underneath here with what's on top here with what's down in here, but we'll see what happens. So come over to our projects list, create another one. Once again, it's gonna, in the scan settings, it's going to present me with the opportunity to scan markers, which I do not want to take advantage of. You can see that it, it did reset the brightness. So I'll go ahead and hit auto exposure again and start. It's going to do its auto exposure trick and we are good to go. Looks like we got it all. For kicks and grins, I'm going to see if I can go ahead and align with just these two project groups. It's probably good. Create that plane. Yeah, apply. Let's hop over to alignment and let's see if these two scans are enough to create a complete object. Okay, it was not enough. Let's go ahead and do this. I've got the one uh, tracking marker here that's visible. There's a few tracking markers over here that are visible. So that should help with the alignment process. Got to switch over to scan mesh. I'll do auto exposure again. Okay, let auto exposure do its thing. All 
I think that's it. I think that's all we need. Do a cutting plane, use markers. Let's give this a whirl again. We'll go over to alignment and this time we'll do project one in the fixed window. I'm gonna do project three in the floated window. Let's try for automatic alignment to begin with and see if that works. And it looks like it did. Okay, so now we'll go next and stick project two, which again was the underside in the floated window. We'll go with automatic alignment again, see if that works. And it did. No fuss, no hassle, three project groups, automatic alignment, and I got my object. And there you go. With just a few minutes of actual scanning using 50 crossed blue laser lines and the free scan combo plus did an amazingly articulate job of capturing all of its details with a faithful representation of what the real world objects looks like. Let's say that you just very quickly wanted to scan the interior of this basket and you didn't want to go through the process of sticking markers on it. You don't have any markers on your table. Maybe you don't have any markers on you at all well switching over to IR mode would allow you to do that let's go ahead and take a look at what that would look like so I'm not going to worry about the outside of the objects at all no fuss barely lost tracking at all let's go ahead and stop there for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to focus on the interior just to show off how well the free scan combo is able to grab the details of an object such as this in IR mode. And I think this is a pretty good demonstration. Let's go ahead and just clean this up. All right, and there you go. No tracking markers whatsoever. So you can see how, how well the FreeScan Combo Plus did in IR mode, capturing all of the interior data of this basket. Let's try another object. Let's see what would happen if we were to scan this motherboard. Hop over to IR mode. We'll leave it in objects mode. I'm losing tracking quite a bit more than I did with the basket. But then again, this is a flat object. So let's go ahead and stop there. Here's what we were able to catch. Go ahead and create a cutting plane. Raise that up a little bit. All right, let's leave it there. Go apply and we'll delete that extra goober. There is the motherboard in all its glory. And you can see that it's a very faithful representation of what we actually have in real life. It looks like I did accidentally delete this corner here. So hopefully with scanning both of those objects, you're able to get a, a good idea of what it would look like scanning in IR mode. That was our quick introduction to the FreeScan Combo Plus, a brand new handheld 3D scanner by Shining 3D. This one offers 50 crossed blue laser lines for super rapid scanning. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit like, please subscribe. If you have any questions you'd like to reach out to us, you can do that either in the comment section below or by dropping us an email at info at umax.com. If you would like to take a look at the other scanners that we have available, you can do so at our website, umax.com. When you buy from us, it helps to support us. So thank you in advance. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.